Hey, Dr. Peter Osborne here with a no grain, no pain update. And today I want to talk about one of the most important concepts I wrote about in my recent new book called the gluten muscle wasting cycle. Now, a lot of you know what gluten is. You've heard about it. It's the protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. And in the book, I talk more in depth about other compounds and other components found in grains. I talk about mycotoxins or mold chemicals or mold toxins. I talk about pesticides. I talk about heavy metals that are found in certain types of grains. And the reason why I bring all this to light is that grain is one of the biggest staple foods in the U.S. diet. And more than 100 million Americans are suffering with some form of chronic autoimmune pain. And there's a direct correlation between that grain consumption creating an inflammatory response and leading to pain. And so I want to map this out for you. One of the, one of the biggest ways that this can happen is first we get the grain consumption itself. So the grain is, is eaten. And one of the side effects of eating grain, and this was discovered at the University of Maryland, is that the proteins within grain, the glutens themselves, can actually cause this process known as a leaky gut. Now imagine your gut has microscopic holes punched in it. And so every time you eat food proteins and bacteria and other things that are, are able to leak into your immune system, the biggest part of your immune system is right behind your gut wall. So as you're eating with these holes in your gut, these things are leaking into the immune system. And so they're, they're causing it to over-respond and overreact. And so over time, that creates a heightened inflammation or inflammatory response. Now inflammation, once it penetrates into the bloodstream, a lot of times one of the primary side effects is muscle pain. So we get people that then begin to develop physical pain as a result of grain and glutens causing leaky gut and, and inflammation. So we get this pain. Now this sets the stage for a hormone change because when we're chronically inflamed, not only do we experience pain, but our hormones switch. And so we'll turn certain hormones on. One of those hormones is called cortisol. Now, when cortisol is elevated, it causes our body or it tells our body, one of the side effects, it tells our body to store more fat around our heart and around our intestines. So what ends up happening is we get this visceral fat storage. We actually start to gain weight. So again, we're eating this grain. We develop a leaky gut that causes chronic inflammation that can lead and tend to cause pain. And then we get the side effect of that is a hormone change, which causes weight gain. And so what happens when we gain weight? We don't, we don't want to exercise as much. Our, we're heavier, so there's more pressure on all of our joints and muscles. So the, the whole act of exercising itself becomes painful because we're carrying around so much extra weight. And so unless we make a change, we just repeat the cycle. Unless we change our diet, we just repeat the cycle. Continue to use grain as a staple food in the diet. Continue to have processed uh, or problems with leaky gut, that, which lead to inflammation, which then cause muscle pain and inflammation uh, of the tendons, ligaments, and joints, and then subsequently leads to a lack of activity, a lack of exercise, because it hurts to exercise, and so we, then we gain weight, and again, the cycle goes around and around and around. So if you're one of those people that suffer with chronic autoimmune pain, if you're one of those people struggling with weight gain, you're not quite sure why, what I want you to do is I want you to Try cutting the grain out of your diet completely for 30 days, and in doing so, what you should you, what you should experience is a dramatic reduction not only in your weight but in your inflammatory pain as well. So I hope this was helpful for you, Dr. Osborne at drpeterosborne.com.